Welcome to our video on using iGraph in R. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter when visualizing networks. Our viewer is plotting a non-directed force network, but is facing a challenge with vertex labels. They want to replace the default proxy indexes with real IDs from their data. Let's dive into the details and find out how to achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To customize the vertex labels in your iGraph plot, we first need to create a mapping between the proxy indexes used in the links data frame and the real IDs from the nodes data frame. We can achieve this by creating a new vector for the vertex labels. This vector will contain the real IDs corresponding to the source and target indexes. Next, we will modify the plot function to use our new vertex labels. Instead of using the default labels, we will pass our custom labels to the vertex.label parameter. Finally, let's run the complete code to visualize the network with the desired vertex labels. This will display the real IDs instead of the proxy indexes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To specify vertex labels in iGraph for R, you can create a graph from a data frame of links and vertices. Use the setNames function to assign labels to the vertices based on your data. Here's a code snippet to illustrate this. You can plot the graph with customized vertex colors, sizes, and label fonts. If you need additional node attributes, you can merge your vertex data with other attributes using the merge function. Here's the data structure for links and nodes used in the example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add vertex labels in iGraph R, you can use the vertex.label attribute in the plot function. First, extract the default labels with VG names, then create a subset of nodes based on the vertex IDs. Here's the full code to visualize your graph. You can customize vertex colors, edge labels, and sizes as needed. This approach effectively labels the vertices based on their IDs, enhancing the clarity of your graph visualization. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix vertex labels in iGraph R, reorder the columns of your links data frame. The documentation states that if vertices is null, the first two columns are treated as a symbolic edge list. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, 
please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.